All right, thank you, Chase. Now to a story you'll only see here on ABC Big 2 News. You probably see your local DPS troopers on the road on a daily basis, especially out here in West Texas. But have you ever thought about becoming a state trooper? Well, ABC Big 2's Rachel Hallam took a behind-the-scenes look as an everyday DPS trooper and the work they put in on a daily basis to protect our community. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to have a rider with me. What does it mean to be a Texas Department of Public Safety trooper right here in the Permian Basin? Well, I went on a ride along with Sergeant Stephen Blanco with DPS to see what it's all about, seeing the daily routine and having him show me a little bit of the ropes. He says the two aspects that take up the most time, traffic stops and their new initiative, surveying local schools. He said this initiative has become the most important aspect of being a trooper, being present and helping your community. And because of that, they they want people to work from their home area. But so we're trying to recruit people who that this is home. West Texas is home. Their their families here. Uh, their friends are here. They grew up in the communities of West Texas. That way, they come back home to West Texas to continue to serve. While it may seem like a tough job, Blanco's family has been a part of law enforcement his whole life, making it a no-brainer for the sergeant. I grew up. I was always around uh, people who who. Um, Kind of had felt like they had a higher calling to do something, get back to the community, or get back to the state or their or their country. And for myself, that was that was law enforcement route I took, and uh, being able to serve the citizens of the state of Texas and serve within the communities here in West Texas. But for, the, but for some, the decision is not easy. And for that, Blanco says the department has had a problem with recruiting for quite some time and had their biggest competitor, the oil field, outnumber them. Recruiting in, in West Texas is difficult. Uh, competing with the oil field, um, both education requirements, job requirements, and salary-wise is, is difficult. But we're trying to look for those men and women who are looking for a higher calling, looking to serve their community. Uh, it's, a, it's a huge need. I mean, Texas is continuing to grow. Uh, flux of population coming from across the country to Texas. And so the, the need of additional law enforcement, need of additional troopers to, to, uh, to police the state, to serve the state, to protect the state is, is needed. He says the job isn't for everyone, but if it's for you, they could use the help. And if you have any questions or concerns, make the effort to speak with a trooper and get some insight. You need to be sure it's something you want to do. It's, it's a service to the community. Uh, go out and ride with your local troopers. Speak with local law enforcement, you know, which, whatever path you decide to do. Um, get out there in the community with, with your local law enforcement, with your local troopers, and, and get to know the job. Just don't jump right into it without, without um, to, to people who have worn, they've worn the uniform before. For my entire life, Reporting in Midland, Rachel Hallam, ABC Big 2 News. Well, Blanco says the department does continue to expand, but they still encourage everyone to look into having a bigger part in their community. If you'd like to learn more on recruitment through DPS, head to yourbasin.com.